Yes, now we are. Okay, we're live. All right, welcome. Uh, as my partner uploads our links, we are live uh, coming to you at BB Breakdown 902. Um, we've been in on a bit of a hiatus or hiatus since uh, BB Can 7. We kind of just went off the map. Um, didn't really give our conclusions. I think we like had gone into the final four or whatever, but anyway, Dane ended up winning and uh, our last fantasy draft, I ended up winning because of all the comp wins from my team. Um, it was pretty close actually last, last season, but so we're here to do our uh, BB uh, 21 fantasy draft. We do this, uh, we've been doing it every season since season three of BB can. Um, basically what we do is we go through the cast uh, list and we go on their bios. Uh, this year we're going strictly, well, I'm going strictly on the ICA interviews on uh, each of Canada. If you haven't seen them on YouTube um, and essentially we just uh, pick from what they've said in their interview and in their bios. And then we rack up points according to HOH veto and uh comp wins throughout the season and then the final three get broken down with points as well at the very end are you ready i mean no but i'm having difficulties over here so oh are you yeah we got it i got it i think let me just check okay i'll wait till you're ready i'll have a drink of wine yeah anybody we're... joining in after the fact pour up some vino that's what i did we're good we're good. That was very awesome. stressful. Oh, that took so long. And also, I'm going off my picks on Ica too. That's all I'm going. Yeah, usually I do it with Ica's interviews um, or the ET Canada interviews. And then I also do it with their bios. But this season, I went strictly on the interviews because I find Ica does like an amazing job at really like getting the contestants to open up to their true selves. Um, she just has a way with people and I really enjoy watching her um, I interview. Her. And I also enjoyed like seeing what she brings out of them. So, okay, so let's do it. Wait, wait I'm saying things and you can't hear me at all, I guess, but I'm saying things. I what said, are you saying? I'm saying that I watched Ika's IGTV, her Instagram. Oh, that's what I watch, which wasn't necessarily her interviews, but that were her, her reactions after. And I enjoyed oh. that because she was like, I think this person's going to do well. This person had no energy, like that kind of stuff. So, oh, oh, you really get the inside scoop. Yeah. See? Okay. Now we can go. Now that you can hear me. Okay. So you go first because you lost the last draft. Every time. Um, Kemi, I'll let you finish. Mm. That's my first pick. Okay. So, uh, you want me Kemi to is... Oh. What? You go. You want me to give a little recap on her? Do you want me to tell... Or do you want to say why you picked her? I picked her because it was Ika's choice, number one choice. She thought she was great and had really good energy. Um, I watched her interview. She... Uh, really admires uh, Jessica Graff and Rachel Riley. Um, she's watched one year of Big Brother. So she's only watched the past year. So she started watching and then she like basically binge watched the last 10 seasons. Um, she says she's going to be authentic, competitive, and she's here to win. So because I got every person that she interviewed, would you rather be a winner that's non-deserving or a loser that everybody loves and she wants to be a winner so cool. that's my yeah, no, she was very yeah she was captivating in her interviews uh she had great energy um i hope she comes across with the same kind of uh good energy that she gave ika in the interview okay let me put your name beside her Sorry, guys. Okay. I'll just put an L for now because I'm doing it left-handed. And I'm right-handed. Okay. Um, my first pick 
who I loved in the interviews um, was Ovi. That was my second pick. So Ovi is a super fan. He's been watching. Um, he got introduced in one of his university classes to be brother and then has binge watched the season since. He loves it. He's, he wants to be a cross between Hayden um, and Vanessa in his interview. Uh, Hayden from the brigade. Um, and he really wants to represent being uh, a brown kid on TV because he feels like there's not a lot of representation uh, in his um, uh, uh, ethnicity. He's from Bangladesh. He just had like the greatest energy. Um, he was really authentic. I think that he'll get along easily with everybody. Um, and no one really will suspect him as being a strategic uh, Big Brother player when he's I think he'll get in with the guys. I think he'll also get in with the girls on the flip side of that. He does come out with the girls, but well, that's my first pick. We okay, apologize. next. We apologize if the sound connection is bad. It's a little shaky, I'll be honest. <laughs> Yeah, we Maybe had some technical difficulties. It's, it's a little bit rough. And I have this like little pop-up that says, the Hangout Air is live. Hangouts on Air is going away later this year. So we have to figure out another solution because this is not. Oh, oh no. Yeah. So why? I don't know. I okay. have to try this. So maybe there's a better way to do it. I don't know. Anyway, um, my second pick is Jack Matthews. Jack Matthews. Okay. Mm -hmm. He's a bit of a hottie, number one. Number I two, won. I think he, uh, Ika liked him. She said he had good energy. Um, it was one of her first interviews, and she said she wished it was, like, a couple interviews in because he was, um, he came in, like, hot and really excited. She doesn't think he'll win, um, and she thinks he'll get, like, kind of, like, hooked up with some women in the house, but he'll be part of, like, a male like oh, all lions like he'll be in it he won't win she said but i also i think he can rack up points for me he came across to me um just i on like which past house guests do these players remind me of or are they going to be like one of those standout players that will be like a legend legendary and be remembered he really re reminded me of, I want to say his name was, what's his name? Austin. I think his name is Austin. And he, he was like after those twin chicks on BV, I want to say 15 or 16. I forget which season. Um, and he ended up dating one of them. Remember? Yeah. What's his what name? Austin. Him? Yeah. What are they he was tall and he was a wrestler and he had long mm -hmm. hair. Yes. That's who he reminds me of, this guy. He reminds me. I of think oh. of what he reminds me of that actor with the hair that was Aquaman. I don't know who Aqua. Oh yeah, that's who he looks like. He doesn't look like Austin to me. Austin was ugly, in my opinion. This oh. guy, you know, yeah, the no, Austin. he doesn't look like he doesn't look like he's not a, a twin of Austin or anything. I'm not saying that. I said he just like he for me he draws on the same features like. He has the same jovial kind of like interview style that he did. He has like the long hair. He's big. Look, he's, like, bulky. He reminds me. He of. definitely is an Austin 2.0. Do you see what I'm pointing at? No. Hello. Do you see it? I oh yeah. Everyone else saw it. <laughs> it's uh, that's who he reminds me <laughs> that's of. True. Yeah, he does remind me of him. Good, good, good thinking. Mm -hmm. Um. I think he'll end up getting in a showman for sure. Um, but he said to Ika in his interview that he's a follower and that he can't keep a secret. And so I worry about that. I worry about that. He also said that he was um, a networker. So we'll see. Mm -hmm. um, so Jack Matthews is who you picked, right? Yeah. That was him. That's him. Okay. My next one is... Who do I? Who did I like? Yeah, I liked him. Tom, Tommy Bracco. 
or Braco. He's a dancer. He says he's openly oblivious. He said he would lie if he had to and that he'd get by if he could without lying. That's how he wanted to do it. But he wanted to win and have no respect if possible. That was his uh, answer to Ike of winner versus loser. That's love. Mm -hmm. Um, I just think this guy had like the craziest amount of like energy that like it came right out through the screen into like my bedroom where I was watching the interviews. I really liked that I put sunshine by his name. He rem he reminded me like of a little ray of sunshine. I think that he'll be like fun and and spur like just happy, and that people will be drawn to his energy when it gets they get in the house. I also think the fact that he's oblivious will make people think that he's not in threatening, and that'll get him far. Um, I really liked him, so that's my next pick, Tommy Bracco. Cool. Sunshine. Mm -hmm. uh, you mm -hmm. have sexier. <laughs> <laughs> um, for me, my next pick um, is Sam Smith. Not because he has a cool name, and I really like that artist, um, but because he's a dad and a husband. And I think if you go on to Big Brother, I mean, he's 31, so to me, he's still a baby. Um, but if you go on to big brother and you're leaving your wife and kids, um, then you're going there to play and you're in there to win. And so yeah. I feel like he's got Derek vibes for me. Um, he, his pictures just like, he looks so accessible and really kind. Um, I think he'll probably lie about his occupation or family member or something like that. He'll lie about something. Um, but he's, his head is going to be in this game big time. Yeah, no, I really liked him too. I like, he was in my top, top picks um i like that he's a dad um being a mom and i just like that i like i think that like parents go into this game a little bit differently like they're thinking about their kids they're putting them first like by in that if they're going to be away from them then they want to win it you know i just hope for him though that he doesn't come in too strong that's my only thing i think he's going to come in strong and maybe be more of that like alpha dad and I don't know hopefully it goes over well but it may or may not go over well because there seems to be a lot of strong women that was my only concern about him cool. but if he gets in with the guys we'll see you never know, you never know. Um, okay so I'm gonna pick this uh my next pick is based on Ika's Ika's kind of um Instagram post about this girl and honestly I I think she'll be underestimated as well. My next pick is Nicole. Yeah. And so I I could think she's gonna be the sneakiest player in the game. She kind of reminds me of like I think she'll be sneaky as well. I agree with that and underestimate it. And I think she, she just reminds me of Hanlon. Yeah. Like Sarah Hanlon slash Andy. Oh, like yeah. a mix of those two. Mm -hmm. It's who she reminds me of, like a female version. Yep. I just think that she'll be really good at being like, no one will suspect that she's going from group to group to group gathering information similar to what Andy did. Right. And I think that she'll be able to get in with everybody. She'll be non-threatening, therefore making her underestimated. And people will tell her things because they don't think that it's going to be getting back to them. And I think that she'll actually do a really good job. This is my prediction. Do a really good job of if people start to get onto her, placing the blame on somebody else, like knowing the net, like the social networks that are going on in the house and then pitting people against each other. Okay. I just have a really good feeling that she'll be like one of those people that are like, has their finger on the pulse for like, groups and like information collecting so i think I, I think she'll be a solid pick i'm not sure that she'll get me many comp wins right but i think she'll make it far okay um i feel like a bad feminist but i'm going after nick next nick oh um, darn it i liked him i didn't okay. watch any interviews um i don't remember i could talking about him but I like his profile, and also he – I've lost a lot of 
drafts in the past. So I think I'm going after for like the brawn and then I'll go for the beauty. <laughs> um, and I feel like he might get me a couple wins. So right now I'm building up muscle. Okay. That's, That's smart. Smart. Yeah. Um, he is a child therapist in mental health. He's super endearing. Uh, he's watched only Big Brother since BB17, though, so only the past two seasons. Mm -hmm. And he would be a legend. He, he would be a legend. Oh, okay. So he'd rather lose. Yeah. Um, okay, that's who I pick. I just, I, I like him. Um, but I'm not sure. I think he's going to be one of those people that won't get in with the guys. Well, I could be wrong, but won't get in with the guys and the guys will be threatened by him. Mm -hmm. Um, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. I think he'll be on the other side of the house with the girls, but we'll see. Um, and who, who knows, maybe the girls will be strong this season and dominate unlike last season in BB can seven. I'm hoping anyway. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, okay. I'm going to go next. Because I'm down between two that I really like. Yeah, I uh, yeah, I'm gonna go for Cliff, the older gentleman in the group. He um really liked he is a huge super fan, first of all, like super, super fan. He which makes me excited. He just because he's an older, older person and he loves Big Brother. He's been watching it since like the very beginning and um, he su he seems super strategic, which I love rooting for those type of players. Um, he liked Vanessa, Ian, Terry, and Eric Stein. So he named like super strategic players that he wants to emulate. And on top of that, he, he <laughs> when I asked him about the winner versus lose their question because it was just such a good answer and it was like didn't you go to the that he had hundreds and dollars I don't I don't I don't advise a lot of I don't give a damn and it was just so cute and he like didn't even have to think about it so I just think that he's not only going to be strategic and thinking about the game but he's going to be like super witty super on the ball uh, I think he'll feel the pulse of the house I really hope that he gets in with like uh, like the the alliance group that's formed in the beginning and that it carries him through I like him a lot he's my mid draft just because I'm not sure how far he'll make it because significantly older than the rest of them but I do like him I do root for strategic players and I hope that he makes it far so that's fourth pick we have so many more to go um, I'm going for Jessica okay simply because her favorite player is Dan and every <laughs> other woman in the house does like they're like I have to get my extent my eyebrow or eyelashes extended every two to three weeks I'm like oh my god no. <laughs> Where did I write her down? Did I even write her down? Well, her name is Jessica. Okay, I'll write her down for you. I don't I don't know why I don't have a write up on her. One, two, three, four, five. She's a plus size model and um she came to play. She loves the show and Oh I'm Jessica. Yes. And I watched her video and I don't know what I didn't to be honest. Full disclosure, guys, I didn't watch David Alexander's and Sam Smith's video. I just read their bio, but I did watch Jessica and the rest of them. I don't, um, anyway, okay, all right, that's yeah, okay. that's a solid pick. I liked her a lot. Yep, she knows Brittany too from Big BB Can 3. Yeah, that's what I could say too. Okay, um, okay, cool. Um, I don't know. I, I liked her interview. I thought she was charismatic. Um, I don't know how much BB intellect she has. Who? Uh, just based off her interview, but you More know, sometimes when you don't, sometimes when you you're not a huge super fan and you come in the house blind like John Party, you can make it. So we'll see. Okay. Um. Okay. The next. Well, right? What? You can't hear me very well, right? No. Okay. I can hear you like medium, like on a small, medium, large scale. I can hear you medium. Okay. 
That's why I'd be quiet right away when I know you're talking because I don't want to miss what you're saying. <laughs> okay. You go ahead. Um, hope, hopefully what you're saying is translating through fine to everybody else, though. Yeah. If, if it's not, let us know, guys. Um, sounds, like that are watching live. This, sounds like they're killing off this feature anyway, so. I know. We'll have to figure that out. We'll figure that out when we get offline. Um, 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 um. Okay, my next pick is Annalise. Okay. And I'm picking her because I think she's going to get in a show. Dance. I don't think she, she says she's confront. She can be confrontational. Um, I could believe her because she seemed very sweet in her interview, but she is into like, she plays soccer still. She says she's super competitive. Um, she is a super fan of the show. She's watched every time she had, Big Brother background knowledge. Um, and she's very beautiful. And I think that there are a few guys in the house that she may match up with. So uh, given that she's like athletic and a super fan and she competitive, I think she'll do well with the guys and the competitive girls that have been placed in the house this year. So hopefully she makes it far. But that's my uh, fifth round pick. Your turn. I'm going to pick Christy Murphy. Um, she's okay. from Staten Island and owns the boutique. Um, I feel like she, well, I shouldn't, this isn't fair to her. I don't know her. Um, but she looks like Ronnie from Big Brother Canada, which I kind of like. And Ronnie is like one of those understated players to me that like just kind of could have gone far had they put her on the show properly and not just like snuck her in the back door. Um, I feel like this girl looks like she's going to have spunk and cause some she to me she seems like the type that will get uh all girls alliance together really quickly she might be voted out because mm -hmm. of it really quickly but she's gonna hustle she said that to Ika in her interview that she's an empath and that she when somebody she feels other people's feelings really easily um, she feels like she's going to um, be super adaptable and she wants to kill everybody with kindness. Ooh, there goes my screen. I don't know why. Hopefully you can still hear me. Yeah. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, so she, Aika was a little bit worried that she may, um, because she can, is so in tune with other people's feelings that that might affect her emotionally in the game, but uh, she didn't believe so. Um, I think she's a solid pick. She was in my top, my top six for sure. Um, but yeah, you picked her first, so boo on you. Uh, okay. Okay. Uh, my next pick is going to be Catherine. Okay. For a, a couple silly reasons. My the first reason I'm picking her is because my best friend that's named Catherine spells her name the same way. <laughs> that's a silly reason, but okay. whatever. That's the first thing I remarked when I when I started her interview. And the other reasons is because um, she does cheerleading, she does dance. So she's been involved in like group like group activities where it's high energy athleticism and uh, around other big personalities like she says she has a big personality but she also in those sports are around other people with those big personalities so she's able to probably let other people have the limelight one would hope um but i think she she thinks that she's going to try and target get people to target each other in the game um she's she's very attractive so she may be a, a showman she also seems like she's athletic enough with her, her background that maybe she'll win some comps for me. Um, I don't think she'll be the most strategic person, but she could surprise me. And that's my rationale for picking her. Cool. I'm going with... I, uh, I'm going to go with Holly Allen. I could okay. choose your rationale too. My cousin's name is Holly, spelled that way. Alan is my brother's name, spelled that way. Um, but I am not picking her for either of those reasons. I'm picking her because she's never watched any Big Brother. She couldn't even name a favorite. Um, but I think that, uh, I mean, she's she's very, very pretty. I don't think she'll have any problem finding a, a guy to sally up on or at least using those 
good looks to get ahead, much like men do as well. Um, and I think she will lay low. She'll at least make it for like a month in that house, in my opinion. Um, but I think we're getting to the bottom of the barrel. And she was like, there were some other ones that I was like, I didn't want Catherine. And there's the other one I don't want. I'm not going to tell you because that's not very strategic. But um, Holly is my next pick. Okay. Um, her interview, Ika said she liked her the least out of everybody she interviewed. Yep. Um, I kind of agree with her. She said that she gets along better with men. And the reason being because... Um, most of the women uh, that she's been around just aren't authentic and the few women she does have as friends are like authentic people because they were, they they're used to the ranch life. So she said she grew up on this ranch that was like socially isolated and that she's going to be used to being socially isolated from that regard of growing up and working in that atmosphere. But she says she really doesn't get along with a lot of women that she gets along with men and I think that's a recipe for disaster, but we'll see. Maybe she'll persevere, um, get in a showman's really quick, and then he'll be able to protect her if he's in the guy, excuse me, guy alliance because she is quite attractive. However, there are other attractive women in there, and uh, um, knowing guys, guys, most guys like to be laid back and not stir the pot all too much. Um, but we'll see. Maybe you never know what will happen, but we'll see. Yeah. I, I, she was like literally in her and another person. I won't say her name cause I don't want you to know, I know. But my bottom, my bottom pick. Yeah. So, um, uh, my next person I'm picking is, um, Jackson. See, uh, I think Jackson and Holly are going to get together. He seems like a douche and she seems like an idiot and, Oh like, yeah, like they'll just get together and be weird together. I'm picking him because, to me, and I put in brackets, he seems like a Cody 2.0. Yeah, um, yeah. He has a little more emotion, and talkativeness compared to Cody, but I think that he'll get me a lot of comp win. I think he'll get in a showman's, and hopefully, unlike Cody, he'll get along with the guys, and that will benefit him and get him far. We'll see. I. But that's why I'm picking him as my next pick. Yeah. She didn't like him. Job. Micah didn't like him either. Um, no, I know. But I think she said, and she was honest, and she said, you know, he came in, he was pretty Southern, and she was, like, nervous. And for, like, you know, just that's, like, what you think about people from the South. And she was nervous he was going to be there. She said he was nice, but, yeah, she was nervous. Um, for me, my next pick is David Alexander. Uh, okay. I I read his bio. I couldn't even talk about him. Uh, I'm not. There's nothing. He seems like he likes photography a lot. Um, in his bio, he talks about it everywhere. Um, I'm not that excited about him, but you never know. Those could be like the sleepers. Can always be the strategic ones. Yep, Godfrey. Yeah. Um, okay, so I guess I'm stuck with the one I. Oh, I like didn't want top. her. That's the fake eyelashes, girl. Yeah, so she is not a super fan. She says she's super um she's going to win everybody over with her confidence oh. and she's going to play her ethnicity card as she would put it. That's what's going to get her by. I think she's overconfident that she's naive and I actually think that she'll probably be the first one voted out. I I think you might be right. But That's my prediction. stranger things have happened in this Big Brother game. Stranger things have happened, but like her whole interview, like I only watched half of it because she annoyed me. I couldn't. So she will definitely like if I was able to watch live feeds, she wouldn't. If she was on the feeds, I'd be switching into the other camera. Okay. Okay. That's my opinion. All right, I'm excited for this season, though, to see how it all unfolds. Yeah, there wasn't where I was like, oh my gosh, this is amazing, but. We will see. I mean, I feel like it's so hard because Big Brother Canada is, like, so good. And we so can, like, good. See them and be a part of it, and it's so different. Um, and it's, But I'm excited, and I just uh, 
Yeah. Here we go. Yeah. It's going to be great. When does it start? It starts uh, this week. It does? Wednesday, I think. I want to say Wednesday. Correct okay. me if I'm wrong, people. But okay. yeah, Wednesday. Okay. So if you liked our video, retweet us. Uh, share it with your friends. I'm going to um, tweet out about it tonight. So retweet us if you liked uh, what we had to say. If you want to follow us some more during the season, we'll try and do it weekly. Um, but life sometimes gets super busy uh, on both ends. And last last season, we ended up doing every two weeks. Um, we'll see how the summer goes. I am going on vacation for two weeks at the beginning of this, like in July, and then hopefully a week at the end of August. Um, so we'll I'm see going on vacation in the middle of July. So yeah, exactly. We'll so see we'll how see it how it all. <laughs> yeah, we'll see how it all ends up unfolding. Um, I might be able to do a podcast when I'm out east because uh, I'm out there for two weeks. So maybe, um, but we'll see. So uh, just stay tuned with our Twitter page. We'll do updates uh, on what we're thinking during the shows and when we'll be back next to talk with you all live. And after the fact, uh, if you tuned in live today, thank you so much. If you're tuning in after the fact, thanks again. We uh, love the support and we'll see you soon. Bye, guys.